Hello, I'm Catherine Franche. I'm the director of Excite, the European Network for Science Centers and Museums. A city of science is um, an evolving concept in the sense that it's um, uh, some take it as um, cities that integrate science more with the citizens, and this is probably what we um, what we encourage. But there's always a, a, a basis for, for that comes from research and knowledge. For example, you would have strong universities. A city would encourage research centers and universities, but at the same time would um, encourage citizens to be involved in com and communication to citizens to uh, be in introduced or in, in included in this concept. Um, some countries have developed it very precisely in the sense that they have a label, but then what is behind the label is very flexible and depends on the context. Uh, this is true of um, uh, UK, for example. I've often heard people who told me, ah, I would love to live in a city of science. And I think many of us live in a city of science, we just don't know about it. I think knowledge is more limited in the sense that it often refers to the fact that you learn, and you learn something that you don't know. What we tend to um, promote at Excite with the members and science centers is more, more the no notion of dialogue, what everybody can have a say on science and on different kinds of knowledge. It's uh, much more interactive and I think that knowledge often refers to a passive learning. I'm not saying this is um, the case for everyone but it could. We tend to say that science is universal. So if you talk about science communication then of course you take science and put it in a context which then is cultural, linguistic, historic and has its own um, uh, identity. So the dif there's a difference, I would say, between science and science communication. Science is much more universal, and it has to be, a bit like music or, or jazz. But then when you play or when you talk about something, you have to adapt to the context. Territory for me is um, uh, much more than geography. It includes this notion of uh, culture, history, different layers of history and of projections in the past, this is for me a, a territory. It's where you, you live and how you project yourself in that um, space. But the space includes what happened in that space before and what you want to happen. So there's a notion of past, present and future.